it's Ricardo and I'm playing Elite Dangerous and as you saw from my previous videos in this series, I've started again. Well, I've started again on a Steam account. Now you see me in the Sidewinder, taking off and flying away from my home system, my starting system. Now, when you're first starting, you are presented with that pesky pre-flight check. Now you can turn this off, should you need to, on the right hand panel in the options. Very important. I even forgot about it. I didn't even know what the hell it was. It's been so long since I've been in that sort of situation. Anyway, so, like I said, I'm in my Sidewinder and I'm flying off away from my home station to my first destination. And I'm, in, I'm doing data delivery messages. Now, doing the data delivery missions, they're great, right? No cargo space needs to be used, unless you get some, get some reward. Or, you very rarely are you going to get attacked, even though I did. And it's relatively quick turnaround. It's easy money. It's about 33,000. Now, that's not a lot of money, but when you're starting out, it's a fortune. I remember thinking back when the game first came out. My God, I've got 10 of these. I'm going to be rich. Let's go to that Cobra Mark III. And now, as a lot of us know, as we progress through the game, everyone's got a face on them if they haven't made 10 million a cargo run. Well, hey, to get perspective, get another account, log on and start again. And that gives you a new perspective on, on not only does it let you empathise with new commanders, but also it gives you a different perspective on the game, on how much we've grown to expect high payouts for our trading missions and the like and how ridiculous I think it was. Now put in the comments if you think it was ridiculous or not, or you think you are indeed entitled to 10 million credits a run. Now if you haven't already done so, please click the subscribe and the like button if you like the series and the notification icon, and that's gonna let you know when I'm putting more videos of Elite and other games on YouTube. Now you can see I'm descending the planet's surface. I might have something up with my graphic settings, you can see a nice big dark square block around the station. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that, to be honest. I'll have a look at the settings. I mean, the cards are GFX 1070, 8 gigabyte of RAM on that. Um, the machine's an i7. We shouldn't be getting this sort of graphical guff, if you know what I mean. But on approach to the base, it's pretty much like an approach to a station, isn't it? Let's face it, as soon as you get within seven and a half clicks, Request docking and ease it into land, but being very wary of the gravity. Now, you've got a little bit of woo, a little bit of way on this now as you're coming in. A little bit of swaying going on, but we're in a small enough ship that there's going to be no dramas. Once you're in and you get this crate on the ground, it's simply a case of going to the mission section and handing in that mission and then counting your money. Count that many, and if you're able to, if you've had a reward as well, hey, you can sell it and make a little bit on the side. The thousands of credits being the currency you're dealing with. Like I said before, as you progress through the games, you start dealing with hundreds of thousands of credits, if not millions. So it's a good perspective to get yourself grounded and rerouted just before Beyond comes out. So we're down, a nice easy landing. Any landing you walk away from without too much damage to your ship is a good landing in my book. And here we go. There we are. Right, so bang, into the mission board. And missions that you can complete are highlighted with an exclamation mark. And there you go. Straight off the bat, 4,000 odd credits. Thank you very much. Not a fortune. I haven't got enough for a rebuy. But, and here's the big but, it gets you off that bottom line. In fact, I have got enough for a rebuy. The rebuy is 50 credits. How cool is that? 50 credits. I'm not sure what you can buy in game for 50 credits. Bio waste. Probably. Anyway, this now gives me an opportunity to go back into the mission section and pick up some more data delivery missions. If not, some cargo missions. I've got a little bit of extra cargo space. Be warned though, filling up your hold full of cargo will prevent you completing some of your missions. For example, if you have to go to a station 
and that station says, yeah, great, and part of your terms and conditions are deliver this data to this station and we will give you 25,000 credits, for example. Uh, and in addition to this, we will give you some cargo, like some insulating fabric or some some foam or, I don't know, two tons of water or whatever. You can't complete that mission because you haven't got the cargo space. And in these small ships like this, it's something you've got to be really, really, really careful of. You, you can end up trying to sell your shield generator just to get a little bit of cargo so you can cash some missions in. So if you do take on some of these missions, be warned, make sure your next stop, you've got the ability to sell some cargo or, or you make transporting that cargo a priority. So you've got that cargo space so you can complete any other missions that are in your repertoire. So there you go. I've all stocked up with some additional missions and I'm off. Still can't get used to the fact it's a small ship, it's an entry level ship, and my booster won't work. And I've been jamming that booster button like I don't know what. Anyway, not to worry. We're headed up towards the escape point. Full throttle, four pits for the engines. Uh, we're trolling along at over 220 odd um, meters per second, or whatever it is, miles per second. Into the escape vector, and we're away into space. Our next stop is actually in the system, but a space station this time, whereas obviously last time it was a ground-based um, base. Now the ground-based situation came across in Horizons. Some people don't play Horizons, some people are still playing Plain Old Elite Dangerous. I don't know how that's going to go, what with the Beyond update. I don't know what the impact is going to be with that. Um, the Horizon Season Pass, what I can say is, was negligible to buy. Um, and Beyond is available for all Season Pass holders. Anyway, that was my first mission. I've been Ricardo. This is Elite Dangerous, the reboot and restart, Chapter 2. Handing in my first mission. Catch you soon.